Hi everyone, my name is Lasse. Today I'm presenting our short paper here at Middle 2021 titled Radiographic Assessment of CVC Male Positioning. How can AI best support clinicians? And this is a joint work with colleagues from the Department of Radiology at the University Hospital Lübeck and Philips Research in Hamburg. The male positioning of central venous catheters or short CVCs is a common technical complication that is usually diagnosed on post-procedure chest x-rays. If the misplaced CVC remains undetected, it can lead to serious health consequences for the patient. And interpreting chest x-rays at a large scale in everyday clinical practice is time-consuming and can create delays in the repositioning of the CVC. A computer-assisted assessment of post-procedure chest x-rays can help to prioritize cases and reduce human errors in stressful situations by objectifying decisions. However, uh, final assessments must always be made by the clinicians, which is why the algorithmic support needs to be comprehensible. And on this slide, we see two expert labeled chest x-rays. Green and yellow colors represent the CVC tube and tip. And the dark blue area marks the target region for a valid positioning. Thus, the left image shows a normal and the right image an abnormal case. And our goal in this work was to develop and evaluate an automatic classifier for this task with a strong focus on explainability. So our first baseline and an obvious choice is to train a classification network at the image level. And for this task, our model is based on the EfficientNet architecture and was trained on the publicly available Renza clip data set to directly predict the CVC positioning in, is, yeah, if it is normal or abnormal. It was evaluated on a private da test data set of 500 chest X-rays collected at the Department of Radiology here at the University Hospital Schleswig-Holstein in Lübeck. And on all images, several medical experts manually annotated the CVC and its target area. Uh, based on the predictions, we computed the receiver operating characteristic, where this baseline model achieves a mean area under the curve value of 0 0.85. However, the algorithm is a black box approach, and clinicians may not be able to comprehend all decisions. So for our second baseline, we make use of the additional segmentation labels by training a segmentation model based on the unit architecture with an efficient knit as backbone. Then again, we train a classifier, this time with the chest X-ray as well as the predicted segmentations of the CVC and the target area as input. And with the additional information, we achieve an increased mean AUC of 0 0.92. Again, final decisions are made by a black box algorithm, but at least clinicians can check the segmentation output that the decisions are based on. And in our last and proposed method, we discard the classification model and rely only on the segmentation predictions and a rule-based approach where we classify the positioning uh, solely based on the overlap of the CVC tip and the target area. And in this way, clinicians know exactly how a decision was made, and we even see a further increased AUC of 0 0.94. Let's have a look at some detailed results. On the left, we can see ground truth and predicted segmentations. On the right side, we see the different ROC curves, and especially for the abnormal cases, the additional information from the segmentation helps to increase the accuracy. To wrap up this short talk, we evaluated three AI-based classification and segmentation models to assess CVC male positioning, and our proposed rule-based method outperforms more generic classification approaches while offering excellent explainability for clinicians. For future work, we are going to collect and annotate more chest X-rays, especially with abnormal uh, CVC positioning, and evaluate our approach on a large scale. Finally, I would like to make a short advertisement. We are currently organizing the Learn to Rect Challenge for this year's Mikai with three new registration tasks, and you're very much invited to submit your work. All information you need is available on the Grand Challenge website. Thanks for your attention, and I'm happy to answer any questions in the live session or uh, at our poster.